<laughs> oh yeah, look at this thing. <laughs> hey guys, we got a good little story for you today. It's about how I lost my wallet. I was going... I was doing a list of chores with my brother. So, after work, I went and cashed my check at Chase. And... Then I was going to go deposit all the money at, at my credit union. And the reason I do that is because if I deposit a check, my credit union will make me wait a day or two to get my money. So I, may, I leave the bank fine, get to the credit union, deposit over, I had like 600 in cash that I deposited on the, into my account. Instead of putting my wallet back in my pocket, I stuck it in the front pocket of my hoodie and forgot about it there. So I left the credit union. I was going to Best Buy. I don't know. How, I don't know how my brother didn't see me drop my wallet. He was right behind me. As I was turning onto uh, one of the main roads, I the wallet must have, you know, fallen out of that pocket because it's not like it's a good pocket or anything. So I get to Best Buy and um, get what I was going to buy, get in line, my turn, I walk up to the counter, and um, I reach for my back, I pull my back back off and look in the pocket that I always have my wallet in, and it's not in there, so I start patting my pants, and I slowly remember that I left the wallet in my jacket pocket. So I'm freaking out, I'm like, yelling at my brother in line, I'm like, oh my god, my wallet, you know, must have, fell, must have fallen out on the road, so I'm all freaking out, I'm like, okay, I, got, I gotta go, I gotta go see if I can find some of the Best Buy guys, like, yeah, okay, so I ran out of Best Buy, jumped on my bike, and then flew down the road, retracing my steps, and I got back, it was only like a quarter mile away, so I get back to the credit union, and I take the original path and it wasn't in the parking space I didn't go inside to check but as I'm getting ready to turn back onto that main road where I actually did lose the wallet um, there was this sign guy like a sign twirler I don't remember what for but he was um, standing there so I waved him over and I'm like hey did you see if I dropped my wallet or anything right here and he's like yeah, I think I, I saw you drop something. He was like, some guy came by and he picked it up and he went like back over there and he's like pointing behind me. And I'm like, oh shit, I'm gonna have to like chase down some little kid or something that like ran off with my wallet. But as I look behind me, two cars behind me waiting to turn out onto the main road, there's this uh, uh, older couple sitting in like a little SUV and they're like waving at me. Um, so I flipped the bike around and pulled up to his window, and they're like, yeah, you, did you lose your wallet? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, oh yeah, we found it on the road right there, and we took it to the FedEx, because there's like a FedEx in the, exact, in the same parking lot. And they're like, oh, we didn't know who it was, so you were going to mail it. So I was like, oh my god, thank you. I thanked him like 50 times. I was so grateful. So I, I swooped around the corner, w walked into the uh, FedEx with my helmet on and everything. And I'm like, the two people bring a wallet in here. And the lady looks at me all weird. And she's like, well, can I see your face? I'm like, oh, yeah, sorry. So I plopped off my helmet. And then uh, she opens my wallet that's sitting right there on the counter. Checks real quick, gives it to me. And all the other, all the other people in line are like, wow, you are lucky. I'm like, yeah, super lucky. So... Yeah, I mean, I got my wallet back after stupidly losing it on the road.
you expect it to be gone, you know? I mean, I would, I would return stuff. Like, if I found a wallet, even if there was $1,000 in there, I'd still mail it back without a penny taken out of it, you know? But I got my wallet, and uh, I opened it up, you know, just to check it. And the only thing that was moved was my bank card. It was moved from one of the side pockets to the front pocket, probably because they were, like, checking, like, the name on it. But, and... But, two things. Uh, lucky I deposited my $600 in cash before I lost it. And uh, lucky some honest people picked it up. So I don't know if my karma was being repaid or if now I owe somebody. So I'm like on the lookout for to help people. So that's my little story about when I lost my wallet and got it back. So as you can tell, it had a happy ending. I have enough money to buy my cage and buy a sprocket set for front and rear sprockets and a chain that comes in like the kit. So I got enough money to finish stunting out the bike. Um, I might have to redo uh, the friction plates because I'm getting a false neutral in like fourth gear. And uh, I'm going to clean the carbs because it's being a little, a little ornery. Um, see, the thing, I just don't know if I want an Xbox <laughs> instead of that. It's just maintenance stuff. That was spooky. I want to run them kids over. Forgot that looped around right there. Anyways, besides running down kids in the road, I plan on getting... Ooh, Polaris. Plan on getting more videos out. I'm going to uh, limit myself, not limit, but um, I'm going to guarantee a video a week is what I'm going to do. do uh, so you can expect a video every seven days. Ah. Which is what I want to do. I hope I can get down over here. Success! Oh, she's got a little birdie. That was cute. She had a little, um, parakeet? Or a cockatiel. Yeah. She had a little cockatiel on her hand. Cute little bird. Oh, I used to have birds. Uh, I like birds, but it's like, man, what do you do with a bird? You know? They just kind of poop. And you hold them. I think I'm going to get new shoes, too. I threw my shoes in the washer, and I didn't... Like, cause I got like dirt on them from the clutch, and they're not just there's like this is nasty shoes, okay? So I put them in the washer, uh, in a pillowcase, on gentle, in uh, cold water, and they came out looking uh, beautiful. Nothing wrong with them. Not shrunken, not crusty, nothing. No. Perfect shoe, except the soles, like the glue that holds the sole into the shoe like wore or washed away and um, 
the soles just slide around all willy nilly, stabbing me in the feet. Because I'll walk and it will slide back, like the tip of the sole will slide back underneath the balls of my feet, and it's, it's like walking on a cord or something, like if you're stepping on it. It's so annoying. So I stop every four seconds to reposition it. I could barely even walk around the block without having issues. Everyone like runs around the streets. I'm just out riding my toy too. Don't be a scared of me. things like that like let you go but it puts you in an awkward position sometimes like that like she has the right away she should have turned around you know turned in front of me but waving me on <coughs> now I have to worry about is she gonna just go like because I have to wait for more traffic behind her uh, it's just and then I don't want to get in that whole thing where you, they wave you and then you wave them you're just like it's, you know, it's too much. Too much. Hey, this guy. Ding. Um. Riding in low first. He didn't even want to look at me. What's wrong with that guy? I like frantically wave at every biker I see <coughs> out of fear of being rude to somebody. Like, I'm in love with the biker community. If you're on a bike, you've earned my wave. I think he probably wasn't a biker. He's like, you know those people you can kind of tell that are just like, well, I'm riding my friends around the block or something, you know? They just don't seem like bikers. They don't got the attitude that just comes with owning a bike. I mean, some people are just douches. Some people are just... I, I guess you could be ignorant to the bike world. I mean, it's hard to. I mean, everyone you see pretty much waves at you. But, I mean, some people are just douches, some people don't feel like waving, I don't know, so, everyone's different. It's just, uh, turn, it's kind of a, uh, it's kind of rude, you know? Uh, I guess, because waving's kind of like the norm, and not waving... I guess people take it to be rude. I mean, I do. Or, not rude. Actually, I think it's rude when people don't wave back. And a lot of people don't see you when you wave, so you got to know if they see you. Sometimes, you know, they're looking at their gauge or whatever, and you fly by. So, I mean, you can't get mad at everybody for not waving, but... Kick, 
aqui, 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 aqui. <laughs> My brother. <laughs> <laughs> 